as an advocate I only take my instruction from the client and I always take their side when I present the information to the client on their different choices it's up to the client to decide what they want to do I never tell my client what to do well, if she asked me to get I got it you know you have to do X amount yourself I went along and I look for um, for instance, what I, I, uh, for uh, any quotations I wanted. I mean, I, I got onto my with a plumber and, uh, uh, for instance, our electrician, if it was required. I went to the people to we say fit doors or whatever I, I requested. When I got, when I got doors, I, I went back into the office into and. She went through the pa she went through the paperwork. I I what to do. Everything was you know, my call grace. But I think every every decision I make is, you know, going by my own undertaking like so there was no, you know, influence there for me, whatever whatsoever I felt. You were just there impartially, and I felt the information I got was fair and accurate. Well, um, I have no use of one of my arms, and my leg uh, is not great, and I have to walk with a walking stick. So I felt I should be entitled to the primary medical sort, but um, they didn't feel that I met the criteria. I think that's a little bit unfair on people that are quite disabled, but not in their eyes disabled enough. As an advocate, I, I never keep anything a secret from my client and I never discuss details of a case without my client's consent. You don't do things without telling me what, what I speak to you about. It's kept in private, confidential information. It's not, a, it's not a thing that you can go around the room and go around the place. This, I think, is very important for the client to understand because it means that they can be as honest as possible with me without worrying that the information will be passed along. Um, basically, if you um, try to go this road yourself, you wouldn't have a clue where to even start. So Grace knew all the, the angles and where to get all the information and who to be sent to. It. It's places that I wouldn't even heard of. I know myself, I wouldn't have basically, I'd have just accepted knowing that had been it. I didn't know how to go about it. I didn't know the way to go about applying for things because I was never taught how to, how to apply for things. And I think when you have an advocate, then you don't think that if you all have a bad meetings because I find everyone if you need to explain things to people and you see that I know it. Well, if you have the advocate with you, you can, you can keep things from now and now on. I think I'm different on this. And um, of course, you know, I felt the, the advice I got was very good, very impartial, very straightforward. And I felt that, you know, it was kind of, you know, that I did get something out of it at the end of the day, because I had so many decisions to make. And, um, I couldn't have made them on my own without the Democratic Service, without their help. You were dying. You were good. You were dying. You did everything I told you. It, it, it coming together with, without great help, I wouldn't be able to ever do that. Like you helped me get my financial sorted out and I'm going to be sorted out a bit more today because Paul 
it's time of letting me pay my own bills up in the bank or up in the post office, where if I want to go, that's been another thing that they want me to take on more control of my own money. I know much more about it now. I know, I do, yeah, I can. Uh, I know where to go now. I know where to start and go through with the, all the procedures, all the steps, you know, and um, it's, it's much easier. I definitely would have been more assertive now if I had gone into any situation or any meeting where I wouldn't have been before. And definitely with Grace's help, when she comes to meetings with you, you definitely feel more confident facing facing whoever you're going to meet at that day. No, baby, people can be frustrated with things that they want to say, but they don't know how to face. So I think having a service like your own service is a great as as uh, sorry, as is from people with disabilities. Because without this service I think you know the voice of people, disabled people like myself. You know, we'll not be hard, you know.